Good morning, Sangha community. With paying respect to the Sangha community, led by um, valuable scholars and the leaders. Uh, today, uh, we have this first session. In this first session, we have uh, five uh, speakers. And uh, I think I can allocate 15 minutes to each of the speakers. And after that, whatever time is left over, we will try to have kind of uh, interaction uh, in that period. Um, please try to remain between the allocated time, uh, unless I have to uh, try to be strict, which I don't like to be. Um, and I'm not that good at, good at being strict. So um, first speaker here is from uh, Theravada tradition, to, uh, Theravada tradition. Um, the topic today is anatta or anatma, selflessness. So then the next topic is nibbana or nirvana. Uh, in the English, we can say the salvation or liberation, whatever it could be. Um, so these are the very important topics. And uh, uh, many of these topics uh, we find quite often in um, Vinaya and then also in Sutta and also in kind of uh, Abhidhamma or Abhidharma. So um, it seems like today we are focusing on Abhidharma and this is one of the most important topics that we should discuss. So now I uh, invite uh, Venerable uh, in the Buddha from Theravada tradition. Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambo dasa. Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambo dasa. Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambo dasa. <coughs> Good morning, all of you, the venerable members of Sangha and Nan, ladies and gentlemen. Now I have to present about Anatta. So this title is very big for me and very famous and very popular in the world. So if I know this about this international seminar on here, 20, 29 November at the time I know, my Ajahn said me to present here. You have to present about Nibbana. I prepared three or four days. After that, they say, they give me and praise some more Bada again. And then, can change again another for me. So, I don't have enough time. So, and this title is so big. And maybe, uh, you know already about Anatta, but I can say that not easy to understand. So today I focus on only Anatta Lakana Sutta from Dika Nikaya, eh, sorry, from Vinaya Pitika and Sayoda Nikaya. So Anatta Sabbe Dhamma Anatta. All these are nonsense. In the teaching of the Buddha, the concept of anatta is the most difficult to understand for the people to understand from, uh, to escape from the suffering. Anatta from early Buddhism is also relating with eternalism. Eternalism, tatata, uh, sasata, wada in Buddhism. And nihilism, 
he is in me Osita Wada in Bali. That the people always wants to prolong their life forever. Therefore, they create such an hope that the soul stay exists after death. People who support for materialism think in different way. They lay down the death is the end, nihilism. The Buddha suggests people to avoid too extremely. They are uh, Kama Sukhanlika New Yorker, Kama Sukhanlika New Yorker at indulgence, and uh, Adakilamata New Yorker, set modification. Kama Sukhanlika New Yorker me, I can say the craving, lover. Adakilamata New Yorker is dosa, a bashing. So carry out that murder way which leads people to escape the samsara, life of the sanke. It's, it is seemingly easy but difficult <coughs> because the teaching about impermanent, anisa, dukkha, <coughs> suffering, anatta, namsa is very familiar to all Buddhists who know it by heart and it often on and not that on the tip of their tongue. Whenever any accident happens, such interjection are often addressed suddenly, a nature, dukkha, and like this, because very easy to remember, but difficult to understand. In Bogin, mindfulness of the Dhamma, thus, it might be often at Consider as a teaching that is generally known and understood. And doubtfully referring to this statement, the Dhamma has been known through hearsay or book knowledge. But in reality, it is a difficult truth to fully comprehend. Through seemingly objects, among these three characteristics or characteristics, the teaching on non is the most profound. <clears throat> the Buddha have to face serious opposition from some individual like the wandering religious medicine, uh, Sisaka, Tisaka, Sisaka, Tischaka uh, and Paka Brahma, who entertain views on self that were diametrically opposed to his teaching. Very difficult to say, uh, to understand them. The Buddha tried to explain them. Very up to the teaching being made known by the Buddha, this Namsa teaching not being clearly understood was considered as closely related to itself, connected with uh, Nama and Rupa, my and Bori. <clears throat> As again, Brown believed in self, in respect of mind and matter, the Buddha elucidated those are physical and mental phenomena as truly anatta, namsa. It is most difficult to teach this Dhamma convincingly to show that it is non-self in reality, to make this person realize the truth. Since the idea of self has been firmly rooted in them throughout the cycle of existence. If this doctrine or non-set could be known without difficulty, there will be no need to fault the appearance of Buddha. The relational effort that have to be made to elucidate this teaching state witness to the quality of the profound doctrines. Even among heritage, exceptional, Few really understand what is self, let alone Namsa. So I focus on Anadha Lakana Jodha. Anadha Lakana Jodha was, some scholars say that this is the teaching given by the Buddha. Some scholars say that this is second teaching given by the Buddha. Because I think that second. Some scholars think the second teaching is Hema Vata Sutta. And some scholars say 
Tadagiri Soda. This is the second teaching of the Buddha. But many scholars think Nadalakana Soda is second teaching. It is essential to have a full understanding of this Soda, since it may be said that it is a uh, companion of the teaching of the Buddha. The Buddha declared that living entity is not a reality. It is only a conventional truth. Samudhi Satya, conventional truth. What really exists in the ultimate it is a con continuous flesh or impersonal process, just a material, material and mental phenomena. Thus, it is essential to understand this doctrine or nonsense. And impersonality taught by the Buddha, truly and comprehensively. The doctrine or nonsense had already been dealt with by the Buddha while elaborating the Four Nova Truth, Satu Tissa, Satu Satya. <clears throat> During the course of teaching, Dhammachaka Bodhana Jodha. This is the first discourse. The doctrine of Nansen was again clarified comprehensively in the Anatta Lakana Jodha. So I will briefly to say this, the summary of this Sota. So the Buddha say, Ruban, Ruban Bekawi Anatta, Ruban Bekawi Anatta, is me that material form is no self. Ruben Sahidan, at the up with the Nidan Ruban, Abadaya Samudiya. That is, if found with the self, this form would not turn to sickness and it would be chance to see with regard to form. Left form became this for me, left form not became this for me. But be silly because form is not self, material is not self. Material lamb is except to disease, and it is not possible to say with regard to form. Let this form be thus, let this form not be thus. And also, feeling, perception, feeling, vedana. We can say vedana kanda, sanya kanda, and sankara kanda. Sankara kanda means mental formations, and consciousness, vinyana kanda. These are also Nansa, these are also cannot create ourselves because of anatta, namsa. And the Buddha say, why do you think about this? Is body permanent or impermanent? They reply, Panchawakiya, five months, impermanent. But is that which is impermanent, painful or pleasant? Painful. <clears throat> and it is this fact to consider what is impermanent, faithful, or nature or change. As this is mine. This is what I meant. This is myself. In Bali, Isoha, uh, Iso Atta, Iso Me Asra, Isoha Masami. And also, Vedana, Sanya, Sankara, Vinyana. Consciousness also the same. Thus, means whatever is body, past, future, uh, present or internal or external or gross or safety or low or excellent, whatever it is far or near, far or near, all body should be seen by means of wisdom as it really is that this is not mine, this is am I not, this is not myself. Is this Yankee Si Rupan, Atidana Kata Pichopana, Icha Tanwa, Behe Tanwa, Sukhanwa, Hinawa Pani Tanwa? This is in Pali. So, seeing in this way, they instructed the desire of Ariya, noble passing. This regards body, feeling, perception, mental formation, consciousness. That is Namsa. After this chanting, one fully realized and released from death and rebirth. 
and there is no more of being. This is, I, I'm trying to conclude about the Anatalakana Chota briefly. So, there are four kinds of atta, or there are four kinds of clinging to self. One is, uh, according to Wisthoti Mecca commentary, <clears throat> Sami Atta, Sami Mi Master. So, clinging to self as a master is the belief in a living entity that is controlling and directing as it wishes. This is called Sami Atta. Next one is Niwasi Atta in Bali. Niwasi Atta. It's me clinging to self as a abiding self. It's the belief in a living entity permanently. Two more minutes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, another one is Karka Atta. Next one is Vedaka Atta. Karaka me doer or creature. Vedaka me a free answer. So, uh, the characteristic or namse also, uh, I can say, Atta Sara, Nesa Sara, Vira Hitata Anatta. It means that the lack of essence of self and the lack of permanent of self. That is why we call Anatta. So, this Anatta we can explain to others, very difficult. I also cannot explain to clear everyone. So, Sabe Dhamma Anatta, all things are. Sabe Dhamma Anatta di Yadda Banyaya Pasati, Atta Nebendri Doke, Isa Mago, Wisodiya. It's me, all things are Namsa. When one knows and sees this inside wisdom, one became passive in pain, this is the path to purification. So, to submit, in my opinion, everything has two aspects, Atta and Anatta. Atta and Anatta, from the point of view of Atta, we cannot pass it. everything in the world as a real binding or as uh, illusion. And uh, analytic approach, everything we can pass it there, nature or Anatta. Without understanding Anatta, it is impossible to understand emptiness in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for remaining within the time. Um, so, uh, Venerable uh, in the uh, Buddha has explained a lot of things, the uh, opposite views of uh, nihilism and uh, kind of uh, paternalism, and then three kind of uh, those uh, conditions or three natures, or uh, then also about this profoundness of the anatta and particularly he uh, focused on uh, Anatta Lakshana Sutra and uh, how the different groups of scholar claim that it is a second or it is not second, those kind of things. And he also touched uh, Smriti Satcha and then uh, Param Satcha. Um, these are important uh, topics in uh, Buddhist uh, kind of uh, Abhidhamma world. So um, he covered many things and uh, I hope you understand it well. ตาเอ่อครั้งที่ตนสงเวียดีนาโลเลยอ่ะอันนี้ตักเจกตาวาลอสอบะตาอันนี้อันนี้อาจิกเปเกเอ่อดามเมจกดานตาอันนี้เต
we all accept that you are there, I'm here, I is there, self is there. So can you also pinpoint conventionally what is the self which exists conventionally? You understand the question? The question the is self, that... Self uh, that is refuted yeah, yeah. and the, the self very that clear. conventionally exists. Yeah. We refute a self, anatta. When we say anatta, is a, there is no atta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, kind of a, there's a refutation of that. What is that atta? And how to understand that? If we are negating something, we have to understand this is the thing that is, we are negating. Mm -hmm. So this is question. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, the everything has two aspects, yeah, atta. So, if we, if we see ourselves, yeah, our body, this is, can see this is atta, because we cannot, we, uh, we cannot clarify immediately, we, uh, we cannot clarify uh, clearly, because we are a uh, combination of body, yeah, uh, 32 kutasa. So, this is called atta. But, uh, how to say, and in Bali, we say so. Uh, if we see chak, uh, chaku, ear, nose, tongue, something like that, if we see like this, this is called, we cannot say atta, this is called anatta.